call him that. But oh wow, we're just going straight into it. All right. Okay, Falco versus Samus, and they're fine with Battlefield, which is good. Yeah, Dandy versus Fancy Beast. It's so, a very fancy names for both. So as, as a Falco player, one of the things that I just absolutely have such a hard time with against uh, Samus is, is that. <laughs> the up the, the up yeah, see, this is really good, because last time I got to commentate a match that Fancy Beast was playing, he wasn't doing the up out of shield. He wasn't doing the up against Falco's pressure, because I think it was actually you played him. Yeah, yeah. And he just wasn't doing him very much. And I told him afterwards, like, hey, you can do up out of shield or up out of these situations like that, where Falco comes in a little too high, a little too hot, and yep. you can come up, stop him. One of the key things about this and matchup as yeah. Falco is you, you it's so hard to approach Samus when she's below like seventy percent. Because right. she can crouch cancel pretty much everything you do. Yeah, and that's that's what you're used to doing with Falco. It's like, oh they're below seventy, I can combo him to seventy. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, but Samus, again, even if you get the hit early on, it's just not gonna do much for you. It's either crouch cancelled or you just hit her too far away and you can't really combo off. Yeah. Even if you get the down air in the right spot and you get the down B to connect, it's you you're going to get like 15, 20%, not much dollar. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing is like it's it, when Samus is at low percent like she is now, it's such a high risk for you to go in as Falco because she has so many tools for just knocking you off the stage. Like yeah, crouch, crouch cancel, cancel down, down smash, smash, you know. Yep. And if if Samus feels like she's being pressured, she can always just do the up B out of shield, you know, if that's if she just wants to reset the situation. Yeah. Or if the spacing's really on point, you can just wave dash back, up tilt, or wave dash back, uh, forward tilt, and really punish yeah. them attacking where you just were. Exactly. Um, but so Fancy far, Feast it's actually kind of going yeah. in. It's been even. Yeah, yeah. this is pretty even. They're just kind of going at <laughs> each other a little bit. Okay, good Ooh. wave dash back. Nice. nice. All right, good combo. Yeah, you always DI that away. <laughs> always <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have no follow ups if you DI away. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, com oh, oh. <laughs> the combo. Oh, oh that's no. it. Oh, get on the ledge. Oh, you had hurts, him. This hurts my heart as a Falco player. <laughs> All right, he made it back. But this edge guard is. Ooh, good tech. Yeah, that's that's one of the interesting things about like wave dash. You know, try, when you try to wave dash away, sometimes, sometimes you, you get, get that, that awesome. Sometimes tech, you look right? pro, and then you're just like, yeah, I'm the best. I meant that. <laughs> I meant that to happen. Do it again. No. <laughs> You miss that one opportunity, that's it. Yeah. It's the things like that. You gotta either you say oops just to throw people off because it's like, oh, I messed up, but it was awesome. <laughs> and now it's in your head that I'm just doing stuff. So, what, what Dandy was doing that was really good there was, you know, because he's got, he had a Samus that had high percent, and all he was doing was just spacing the back airs. Like, yep. that's that's pretty much. Yeah, back airs and neutral airs is pretty do. much all you can do. <laughs> is Falco. Yeah. All you right. can still shoot your gun. You still have that. There you go. And he's doing this a lot more than he had been the rest of the match, really. Yeah, he was being a lot more aggressive earlier in the match, and he's changed that pace. He's trying to hang back a little bit because he knows he's, he's tired only got of one stock left. Yeah, that too. He's tired of getting upbeat. He's tired of getting thrown off his game. And honestly, I feel like that's how you have to play this match the whole time. Like you have to, you have to kind of hang back as Falco and just kind of nick nickel and dime Samus until she's at you know non-crouch cancel percent. So then yeah, you want to go I mean, for the back airs. That's players. how you got to play against Samus. So. Falco definitely has to do that. Other characters as well. It's a lot of hit and run, a lot of getting your moments. Okay, that was a good up tilt. He had his shield out too long. Uh, see, Samus just not going to die for a while yet. If he gets a strong back air, it could kill if it's in the right position. Oh, oh. <laughs> or that. Yeah, but Fancy Feast is just putting it to him. Nice wave dash back. He called it again. That's some good Samus pressure. Yeah. And he had the read. He knew he... Had the feeling that it was going to move in because he had done that before. Every time he had the chance to tech, he moved in towards the center of the stage. I That's the thing you got to watch out for with Samus because your moves do take some time to get going. Yeah. But if you can predict with a forward smash, you you get some early, early kills, and it's really strong. I've been really impressed with Fancy Feast in like the past six months because like I went and played him uh, in Tuscaloosa recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was. Too. Yeah, he was just. He gotten like, a lot better. Significantly better. Yeah. Yeah, he's taking a lot of advice to heart and. All right, this is a good counter pick for Falco. It's a very good stage for him. It's not a bad stage for Samus, though. I mean, Samus gets to live a long time. Rick gets really good recovery options because the entire wall is options for her to recover on. Yeah. She can pretty much grapple anywhere and cover back. Yeah, it. I'm not sure how I feel about this uh, this counter pick. 
One of the things that's so I mean, good for Samus on this stage is the platform heights, right? Yeah. Because she has the ability, kind of like Peach, to just down smash you on the when when she's on the platforms and yeah. you know get just get weird jank hits. It feels like. Yeah, I think you can get around them a lot more easily though. Oh, that's that was rough. You do have to be you really aware. Double of jump them. on the yeah. bomb and got knocked out. Yeah, you have to be really aware of those things. And this is this is definitely one of the <laughs> Samus. I feel like. Samus players really enjoy this stage. I know Bob does. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about Fancy Feast. I, I've always banned this stage whenever I play him. So. I, I uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would be fine playing against Samus here. I've, in my experience, I've had a lot of Samus's taking this stage for a counter pick, which is fine for me because I'm usually Gandorf or Peach. Yeah. And both those characters are really good here, and I, I wouldn't mind playing Falco against Samus here at all. Okay. So far, he's he's keep he's putting yeah, on a lot of damage, and that's good. That's how he was able to get the forward smash kill, and he's doing a really good job of not yeah more uh, lasers, more just patience. All right. Oh, is that the? S he's got the extender going. Is he? Um, I don't do remember. Do you know if Dandy is a uh, 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 Project M player? Yeah. Because um, I was gonna say, like, I haven't seen him around either. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen much of him at all. Um, Yeah, I haven't seen him before today. I don't know if this is his first tournament or if he just hasn't been coming to these particular ones nice. for a while. Yeah, it was good. That was good spacing. Now he's behind the stock, but he's pretty close. He's making the damage race pretty good. That could have been a kill. Oh, that was a nice. kill. Okay, all right. There we go. He could have had it down air into immediate down air, but he got it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's doing a really good job of not getting hit by uh, by yeah, the down smash. It's it's so hard to so hard to avoid. I'm mm -hmm. pretty impressed right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Samus is so hard to edge guard too because she oh, has so true. much like air mobility. She can just kind of. You just gotta shoot her a bunch. Yeah, you gotta shoot her a bunch. You gotta force her to get down below the stage. Yeah, you force her to get below. That's the nice thing about the lasers is they put people in positions they don't want to be in, and you can tell what position they're gonna be in because they can only fall so much after getting shot by a laser. And so you can kind of make them stagger down and hit them in just the right spot that you want them to be in. I know uh, Spade is really good at avoiding, like, like if I'm trying to shoot Falco lasers, you know, he does a really good job of, of weaving in and out around them. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, he's and good it, moving around the platforms. Faint's Feast is much more a stand and deliver on the, on the stage, just kind of... Ooh, nice. Oh. Read, the, read the roll. Pull yeah, up the he's ledge. consistently saw the roll. Uh, Dandy has the habit of going in towards the stage no matter what the situation is. Oh, we got an up air kill. It's pretty solid. Yeah. So we've got a really close stage. match now. And Dandy was playing a lot smarter this game. It's a shame it's starting in game two that he had this approach because he picked it up towards the end of the first game. Yeah. If he had started out this way, it would have been a lot closer the whole way through. Oh. Good shield. I did not expect him to shield that. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no oh. Not this way. Uh, oh, okay. okay, wow. <laughs> Looked like, like he died there for yeah. a second. Yeah, I, I, I was, <laughs> the stream I was afraid. Kind of <laughs> no way. Oh, good oh. effort. <laughs> I like it. And I like it. They are literally even percents right now. Yep. This is this is incredible. Okay, in there. All right, just get on. Uh. Yeah, forcing Samus to go around you when you're on the on the ledge. It's probably oh, no. the best. Okay, good. That was smart. Drop a little bit below the stage and get that perfect sweet spot. Oh, it's, it's such a risk, too, because... Well, yeah. But <laughs> Samus was a little far Samus, away. And Samus up tilt. Well, yeah. Samus hasn't been doing that for edge guarding. That's true. Yet. That's a good point. He just He's not spacing with back airs. That's what... Yeah, that's what he needs to be doing. That's back what he needs airs to be doing right now. Airs. He got a weak back air there. Oh, God, no. no that's no, a no, rough no. spot. No. All right. Good wake up attack. Oh, nice ledge cancel. Nice back air. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Man, you can tell he earned, he, <laughs> he felt that one. When he won, he oh, whoo. that was awesome. That the look was, on his face was just <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that See, was now so he's tense. now he's got a game plan, and I know now I think this one's going to be very close, very yeah, back this is going to be a lot better. Yeah, and it'll be on a stage probably with a lot of maneuverability, or maybe right back there. Oh, okay, right, right back to it. It's a good stage for both, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, if that were. Yoshi story, that'd be a down B into down B right then. <laughs> Get that kill early. All right. So here we go. Uh, 
Dandy's still trying to play patiently, but he got he got picked up by uh, down tilt. Yeah, by smash. down tilt. He got two out of the three fire moves, which is pretty good. <laughs> the triple fire combo is pretty much impossible, <laughs> but it's it's like the holy grail of Samus combos. <laughs> you get down tilt and up smash into forward air, or some combination of those. I don't think that's something that any Samus player is actually thinking about, but that's what I think about <laughs> when I imagine Samus. Go. There you go. We got the up tilt edge guard nice. that time. Yeah. It's all about the points, right? Yeah. Got to go for style points. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's. All right, good man. Okay, see that was this a early kill. I felt Ooh. like I think he missed the di on that. Yeah, he's not expecting the back air just then because again, Dandy hasn't been going to it. Like he said, it's not the thing he's trying to kill him with too often, but Ooh, he ends up killing the crouch with it. Off. Yeah, I think Falco definitely wants to be on even footing with Samus on this stage, though. Yeah, absolutely. He normally, he's talking, normally he's Falco, shooting lasers. Yeah, make... normally Falco likes to be on that top platform, kind of. Hang up there, drop down, jump back up, drop down. Um, but Samus can just up B through that and kind of mess up that approach. So trying to stay even, trying to stay you know, Ooh. on stable ground with your tilts and pressure that way is going to be helpful. The forward air. Yeah, forward air is pretty good against Samus. I like how that kind of covered the... Oh, I guess if he had up beat immediately out of shield, because there's an invincible. Uh, there, is it one frame of inv invincibility it's, on Samus? It's up some B? frames. I don't know. Yeah, like it's some. It's a few. <laughs> we'll it's say. it's enough to matter. Right. It's enough to be able to beat out. Um, okay, now he's baiting the up B. He's waiting. He's being patient. He's getting the up B's to come out. If he can punish it, that'd be really strong. Oh, especially right now, I feel like I'm pretty sure down tilt will kill at this percent. Or ooh, almost. Well, you know he's not thinking about down too. tilt. <laughs> Most Falcos don't. <laughs> there you go. That's a strong backer, though. <laughs> like me. Yeah. <laughs> it's only recently that's something I've been, I've been doing a lot a lot more of. And just that's it. Okay. Back and forth. Man, Very this, even. Yeah, this is super even. This is, this is intense This is what match. I like to see. All right. Oh, I can't so that was that a good get crouch canceled. He wasn't expecting it. It was a falling back air into Shine, which normally the spacing is not going to let you get. Ooh, good tech. Oh. He's, yeah, see, he's baiting the... Uh, Baiting the uppies a little bit better. Oh, that, was a, oh, that was a good This is going to hurt. Yep, oh. that's that. Angled up, get that extra damage, extra hit, not yeah. back. But again, still, if, if it's going to go back and really forth good. again, we can expect it to go Dandy's way pretty soon. Oh, oh my nice gosh. read. Nice read. He waited just a second. The fancy piece is looking really strong here. Got a successful up B. Almost got him with the missile out of shield. Almost shield poke. I feel like Dandy's getting a little bit more kind of worried. He's trying he's to go in pressure. for a lot more. Yeah, he's well, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's like, the I'm on my last stock. This is this is the match. Trying so. to make something happen. But going for glory. Yeah, if he's smart, just doing more of these back airs. Good. Yeah. There you go. Just keep. Just take the damage you can. Back airs. Don't force it. Good. Yeah, I, I like what he's doing. Excellent. There we go. All right. Not quite even, but definitely doable. Now he just needs to get uh, Samus at not crouch cancel for since and uh, yeah, oh. that was that. yeah he had double jumped he was trying to avoid the invincibility and yeah. didn't want to get hit by something like that but he landed in just the wrong spot but still uh, those were those were some excellent yeah matches. it was really it's good really back and forth good yes. stuff I have to I have to play you oh okay oh. all right sounds like uh, Eric's got a match good luck. <laughs> 